Greetings one and all and welcome back to Minecraft Sublime. This is episode 26 and we are still in the Pride Lands. And I'm here with Rafiki and we were just having a conversation, weren't we, Rafiki? Hmm? I was... <laughs> that's what he thinks about that. Yeah, I was, I was expressing my concerns about the mission that he gave us in the previous episode to go out and kill cold-bloodedly uh, 64 hyenas. Hmm? I'm, I'm not sure how I feel about that. I mean, he, he assures me that they are evil creatures in these lands that, that will attack me on sight. But, you know, I, I'll, I'll have to see about that myself. Okay, Rafiki, look. I don't know why it is that you think I want your stick so badly. Because look at this. No stick for you until I get my hyena bones. <laughs> and I don't know why you want hyena bones. Because, yeah, that's just creepy, man. What sort of voodoo are you up to? But I'll do it. Who am I to question the great wise Rafiki, right? <laughs> so yes, we'll go out and we will hunt hyena. And then while we're doing that, we can take a look at the rest of the lands and see what else this mod has to offer. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go out at night, because hyenas are nocturnal. I'm going to put a portal up on the hill there. It'll give me a good view. Oh, and another thing I want to do before we leave, there we go, is take off the shaders so that everybody can see. Me included. Oh yeah, that's much better. Much better. Alright, Rafiki. So I'll be back. You just stay here, and hopefully I won't be all that long. Oop. Oh dear. Yeah, maybe it wasn't such a good idea to jump like that. So yes, guys, let's see. Let's see if we can find some hyenas. Got no idea what they look like. Oh, parkour fail. But um, since they are nocturnal, there should be some about, right? Let's see here. Aha, I think there's two. Yes, indeed. I'm going to surprise them because I've got slow fall on my breastplate. So I can float down. Somehow they detected me as I was floating down. Okay, they're not so bad. I eat some potato. Let's see, that was two, right? Two gave me four bones. Okay, that's not so bad. Won't take as long as, as that, what I thought it would. Now, while I'm hunting hyena here, there are two things that I'm very glad I remembered I wanted to tell you in this episode. Number one is our uh, secret competition, I mean our secret code competition. The prize has still not been claimed. So come on guys, all the codes have been released from episode 1 to episode 23. There are secret codes hidden in each video and I know that many of you were following along. Oh look at that. Plunder rummage. I wonder if we can find some treasure while we're here. Hey, 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 come on. Let me just take a quick look. Oh, come on now. There we go. Quite a lot of these guys. 19 bones. Oh, God. Really? They're everywhere. Man. Hungry work, this hyena killing. Alright, so let's take a look at this map then, shall we? Why would anyone hide treasure here? Okie dokie. So apparently they don't work in this dimension. No problem. Alright. Uh, so that's all I wanted to say. The, the, the prize hasn't been claimed yet. And so get cracking, guys. Get cracking on those secret codes. The prize, by the way, as I announced a few episodes ago. Ooh, this one is infernal. Yikes! What what does he do? He's made me. He's poisoned me. Ah, yay! Oh my God! This crocodile! <laughs> Yikes! Ouchie! Okay, he left some boots. Let's check these out. Yeah, the prize. Oh, feather falling. Nice. But I like mine mine better. Um. The prize for the competition is a twenty-five dollar gift certificate from Jinx.com. And that's from the crocodile, I guess. Ah, Hemsbok hide. That's interesting. And crocodile meat and blue f a blue feather. I wonder what that what that's from. Um, yes, twenty-five dollars from Jinx.com. 
is available for the first person who cracks the code. So yeah, get cracking guys. Now the other thing is, I wanted to ask a time question in this episode. As you guys know, I sort of think of these episodes as, the, as a sort of portal into the future, where I can take a peek, because I know many of you will watch this very soon after I publish it, but some of you might be watching this a month from now, or three months from now, from the date of publishing, which is going to be the 14th of uh, June 2014. So, my question for all you people in the future is... Uh oh just want to eat some potato. Yeah, my question is, what is cool for you right now in Minecraft? What keeps you playing? Is it a is it a mod? Are you really into some mod right now? Or are you busy with a building project? What is it? What is it for you that's cool right now in, in Minecraft? And uh, if it is a building project, I would like to see some screenshots. Please. That would be cool. Whoa screenshots or videos in the comments and uh, yeah that's it so let me see I think I'm just gonna continue hunting hyenas here until I got 64 bones I got let me see got 30 now so yes if anything interesting happens I will include it in the video but for now I'm just gonna run to the east apparently and see what else I can find Alright guys, so morning has broken here in the Pride Lands. I haven't quite got 64 hyena bones yet, although there's one right now. Not you. Where is he? Did he despawn? I, I swore... I mean, I swear I saw a hyena here. Okay, so they probably despawn during the day. But, come and have a look at... Oh look, a creeper head. Nice. Another one. Come look at what I found on this side. Look, they're in the tree. <laughs> now, if I'm not mistaken, I think that that is Zazu. Or Zazu. Hello, you. It is. Look at that. <laughs> the rabbits have been breeding by leaps and bounds. <laughs> You're very funny, Zazu. Very funny. <laughs> okay, so that's nice. I've got a feeling that hyenas hunt these poor little guys because I've got a blue feather here in my backpack. And, uh, well, you know, blue feather? Mm. I'm sorry, Zazu. <laughs> Elephants remember. Though just what, though just what I can't recall. Oh, though just what I can't recall. Yeah, very, very funny. Very funny. But okay, so, yeah, I haven't got the bones yet that I need. And I think that the hyenas are much rarer during the day, so I'm just going to run around and see what I can find. Oh, look at that. Hello. I think that that is a banana tree. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> very nice. I wonder if I can get a, uh, a sapling. Because I really would love a banana tree back home. I really don't like hitting these things with my sword. Come on, give me a sapling. Sapling, I tell you. Actually, I don't know. Oh, wait, there we go, there we go. Nice. Two saplings. Very nice. Oh, and here's one of these trees. Um, I wonder if... Yeah, okay, quickly, before the spider spawner. There we go, got it. Although I broke the chest. <laughs> Let's see, what do we have? Jasper and... Oh, are those bees? Yeah, there's two bees there. Okay, let me grab them. Don't really want the Jasper or the baubles or the uh, the disc. We just throw down this stuff here. There we go. Oh, nice, more pet armor. Don't want the chest. Don't want the great wood. Redstone, even that can go. There we go. So, alright guys, I'm going to run around. I want to try and find another biome. And then, once I've got enough bones, we'll head back to Rufiki. Hold on a second, hold on a second. Here's another tree that I've never seen before. Mango. 
Oh, that would be so cool if we got a mango from this. And I definitely want this one sapling as well. We'll have a, a whole fruit sort of section to our garden. Come on! Sapling, I tell you. Give me a sapling. Only thing is, I'm not sure if the dig spell works the same as just doing this, or if it's actually destroying it. Oh, what did I get? Nice, a mango, <laughs> and a mango sapling. Perfect. Exactly what I was hoping for. That is nice. I'm going to start a whole fruit tree section there at home. Alright guys, I'm just about ready to head back to Rafiki. I have our 64 bones right here, and I'm in this beautiful jungle biome. I haven't really been able to find much. Um, you know, I've got this beautiful lily in my hand here. I don't know why I put two down. That, that's a bit strange. Hmm. And also, I found a log over here. And underneath the log, look what I found. Bugs! <laughs> a little bug. But, uh, yeah, so let me show you. Here they are. You can't eat them, as Pumbaa and Timon would do, but you can use them to make a bug trap, as you can see there. Now, I don't know why I would want a bug trap, but okay, we'll we'll see about that later. What do you say, Zazu? So yes, now I, I've been looking for Timon and Pumbaa. You know, I've been all the way into the jungle there, but no, I think it's time to head back now and see what Rafiki does with these 64 hyena bones. So yeah, let's see. Oh wait, what's this? Hello. Flowers, giant flowers, nice. A nice addition to my gardens back home. There's another one. And now let's just take the portal and go back. Um right here. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard him say that before, <laughs> my potato gun. So Rafiki, I am back, I have returned, and here, indeed, there you go. I guess he doesn't really like it like that. I wonder, do I have to right click with him? No, no. Come to me. Yes, nice, I have a Rafiki stick, haha. <laughs> Here you go, if you want one again, bring me another stack of hyena bones. Alright, no, I really don't think I want another Rafiki stick. But now what am I supposed to do with the Rafiki stick? Hmm, let's take a look here. Plus five attack damage. It's got no uses. Hmm. Rafiki. What am I supposed to do? I wonder. Well, let's, let's take a look at our quest book here. See what it says. Here we go, Rafiki's quest. Current objective, speak to Rafiki in his tree at the center of the world. Done. Bring Rafiki a full stack of hyena bones. Done. So... Oh wait, maybe I should speak to him again. Ah, here we go. I hear Scar has returned to the Pride Lands. Woo! And he has trapped our king in the Star Realm. In the Star Realm? I don't remember that from, from the Lion King. Wait, what did he say? While Scar lives, the Pride Bands are in danger. Yes, but what did you say originally? I oh wait, I can check. Come on, Jody. <laughs> Here, chapter. So you must find Scar and kill him. My stick is the only weapon that can harm him. Ha! So that's why you were so insistent on, or, or, or sort of, because <laughs> he was like, if you want my stick, you gotta bring me 64 bones. And I never said I wanted his stick. And now he's saying that the stick is the only thing that can kill Scar. You, you manipulative monkey. <laughs> Alright then, so where do I find Scar? Can you tell me that? Hmm? You'll need to... Okay, but where is he? Wait a minute, let's take a look at the book again. Find and defeat Scar. Okay, where do I find Scar? Rawr. Um. So... I really don't know. Okay guys, give me a second, I'm going to try and figure this out. Put the stick back in my hand. Alright guys, 
I haven't found Scar yet, and I haven't really gone very far. But look what I have found. A dark mage. Dark mage and a different sort of mob down there. Antelope it looks like. So, let's go check it out. And as much as I don't like killing things, I really would like to know what those things drop. So let's see. Oh, oh, he's... Ow! He hurt me. Ow! Okay, attack. Attack! Don't like that much, do you, mage? Ah. Oh. Hmm. Ah, he wasn't so bad. I expected worse. I think there's another... Yeah, that's another hyena. And now let's check out these guys. Hello, you're a gems box. Oh, 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 hey, 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 come on now. Hyena. <laughs> I do like the sounds that these ones make. They kind of sound like hyenas, to be honest. That's what this is missing. Laughter of the hyenas. So guys, I've been searching for a long time and I didn't find Scar, so I went and looked it up on the wiki. And apparently he spawns underground somewhere, between levels 20 and 30, and between 80 and minus 80 from, you know, in this area, which means we have to go below ground. Mm hmm. Alright then. So how am I going to do that? Let's... Yeah, let's, let's teleport down there. Kishwing. Ouch. And then use our dig spell to just go straight down. Should be... I hope we'll, we'll be, you know, lucky and find him soon. Oh yeah, I'm gonna need some more torches. Okay, so I just dug straight down with my spell here. Don't know how many. I'm gonna put my torches in my hand and just hope for the best. Hopefully we don't fall in lava. Yikes, I really came down deep. Wow. Okay, now let's see if we can find a cave somewhere. Oh! Look! Name tag! There he is! Very nice. Okay, so now we just gotta dig straight for him. I don't know really how far away he is. Can't tell. Oh, that's nice. Very easy. Very easy. Run out of mana. So let's get our pickaxe here. Oh, I can hear him. So he's close. Just keep on digging. He's right there. <laughs> I really like it that they've done this with this mod. You have to defeat Scar. I just missed Timon and Pumbaa, that's all. Oh, wow, hello, ow! You think you can fight me and live? Well, yes, yes, I think I can, actually. Aha! He's got 250 health. But I'm not afraid. Wait, wait, let's take a look at you. Oh, look at that face. Look at that. <laughs> That's really nice. Look at him. Not a fair fight, me being in this little, little tunnel here. But, you know, he does have 250 health. Yikes! Yay! Ouch! He summoned help. <laughs> I guess now it's a fair fight. Now apparently, my sword cannot cannot harm him. Ow! Perish. Okay, okay. And get him. Ow. 
epic battle between man and beast. Whoa! Sorry, Scar. Your tricks are not helping you. And yes, you will be defeated. Oh dear. I do have three health left there. Hold on a second. I'm just gonna eat. I wonder what's hurting these hyenas. Yikes. Oh, oh, three health. No, no good. Three health. No good. Get him. Intense. Okay, yeah, I'm I'm regening, so it's alright. Yikes! This one's infernal. Of course, an infernal one had to spawn. Okay, okay, he wasn't so bad. And just a f yes, ha ha ha! We did it. Except I, what happened? <laughs> Pride rock. Very nice. Let's take a look here. What do we get as our reward? Lots of different things. Scar rug. <laughs> That'll look very nice with the hyena head back home. Lion chops. Oh dear, lion chops. Um, I guess I'll keep that for when I have dinosaurs and I'll feed them the lion chops. And is that it? I think that's it. Yep. Alright, very nice. So let's go back and see what Rafiki says. All I need to do is that. Hey, Rafiki. I got him. W where are you? Hey. Hello. Put up a torch here. Let's see what this is. Asante sana, squash banana, wee wee no gumimi hapan. This portal will take you to the Outlands. I want you to go there, collect four termites, and grind them up. May Mufasa guide you in that dreadful place. Um. Okay, where's this portal he, he's talking about? Not this one, this is my portal. Oh, he's talking about this portal. Well, hello. Okay then. Well, I think that's going to be for a different episode and not the next one either because I really feel like getting home and starting with the dinosaurs. So Rafiki, I will be back, I promise. And to you guys as well, I think this is a good spot to end the episode. I promise you, I will be back in the next episode, where, as I said, I, I really feel like starting with some dinosaurs. So, thank you for watching, and I will see you then. Um, please like the video, it really does help my channel. That was awesome though, right? We got to kill Scar. Yeah, ah, Rafiki, the kid. <laughs> and yes, hopefully we'll see Timon and Pumbaa later on as well. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye. <laughs> Thank you.